Hello, this video will review for faculty how they can modify the time limit on all quizzes in Brightspace by D2L for one student. This modifying the time limit on all quizzes for one student um, will essentially allow the instructor to go into the class list, edit the accessibility settings for one student, and change the time limit that student is allowed for all of the quizzes within that course. Um, now this feature does not allow the instructor to adjust the date window. Right now it is just on the time limit that they are given. So this is a different feature than the special access feature in the restrictions tab of the quizzes area that most people are used to using when giving students a different time window or extra time on a test. You can still use this special access area in the quizzes area and actually this area will override whatever is done in the modified time limit feature in the class list area. First of all, let's begin by reviewing that special access area in the restrictions tab of the quizzes area, which is, which is what you're used to using when you are um, adding an extra time for a student or using uh, giving them a different window. So this is probably not something new, something you're used to doing. So you go to the quizzes area, you click on the name of the quiz. In addition to the other tabs that you're setting up, you would go to the restrictions tab. You would scroll down. You would see special access. And for the most part, you're going to allow selected users special access to the quiz, add users to special access, and then here you could give them a new date window different than what the other students have. So if the other students are doing their uh, quiz from the 14th to the 15th, you might be giving this student access from the 25th to the 26th. Um, and this is also where you can give them a special time limit. So say everybody is getting 120 minutes and this student is getting 150 minutes. And then you scroll down and you choose that student's name and then add that special access. And you're able to see that special access that's been given to that student here. So that's what you all are used to doing when you are giving a student special access to the quiz, either the window or the time limit. And that still works, and this is the um, overriding feature. So if you do any of this here, it's going to override the feature that I'm just going to show you now. But remember that this is only on that one quiz. So this gave that student special access for this one quiz alone, which is marked by this key icon. So if you have to continue to give the student special access for all the quizzes, you would have to come to each and every quiz and give them that special access. So what I'm going to show you now, which is the newer feature, allows you to set it to where they get access on all of the quizzes. Um, but it's only going to allow them to have adjusted time, not adjusted windows. So the new feature is if you go to Tools and Resources and Class List and we'll choose the name of a student, you're going to see Edit Accommodations and then you're going to see for their quizzes a, timing, a modifying the timing limit. So this is modifying for all of the quizzes in the course. So I have two ways I can do this. I can either just say I want to whatever the quiz timing is, I want to multiply it by two. So that's helpful if there's different times on the quizzes. So if on quiz one, the student has 30 minutes and I multiply it by two, they're going to have, you know, but if they have on the quiz two, they have an hour and I multiply it by two. So that way um, you don't have to, if the quizzes have different time limits, it's just going to multiply it across the board by two. Or you can do the extra time, which is in addition to whatever time limit is given on the exam, I want to give them 20 extra minutes, which is probably what you all are more or less used to using. So if the quiz one is 30 minutes, then I'm tacking on 20 minutes for that student. If quiz two is an hour, I'm tacking on 20 minutes extra for that student. So that's going to be the extra feature. Now this feature is pretty much not something you're going to use um, because it is going to allow them, You can, if you click this, it says always allow right click, which means that the student will be able to right click during the exam. You would think if you leave this unchecked that um, it would not allow them to right click in the exam, but just leaving it unchecked is not enough. You still have to edit that in the settings, which we'll talk about. Um, I'll show you that and review that in a minute, something that you're already used to doing. So just kind of take this one with a grain of salt. But so the main thing here is you're going to the quizzes area, you're going to the class list, and then editing the accommodations and then giving them extra time. So we'll save that. So now we'll say see how this appears. So we'll go to the quizzes area 
and notice that we don't see the the, uh, the key icon by all these quizzes when we do it during the class list area. This key is only for the quizzes um, special access area that we did earlier in the video. The extra one through the class list where you edit all of them, you don't see an icon for that. But let's just see how it looks. So we're going to come and we're going to edit and say that we want to give special access on this one. I can go to restrictions and I can add special access and notice by the name of this student it already shows they get 20 extra minutes so a total of 140 minutes and this little icon says that this is a course level accommodation so this basically is just reminding me you've already given the student that special access by doing the class list so in this case um, that's a way that you can kind of check it but also know not to give them double special access so let's try it out as the student so before we go in as the student we're just going to choose the quiz 2 or module 2 and we'll notice that I have this quiz set up in the restrictions tab for 10 minutes so everyone's getting 10 minutes but notice that when I look at this feature everyone's getting 20 minutes so this student's getting extra time here so they'll get the 10 minutes that is allotted and then they get 20 extra minutes on every quiz so that's going to give them a total of 30 minutes for this quiz and so again that's just letting me see that that a course level accommodation is a happening on all of the quizzes there all right so now I'm logged in as the sample student and notice here before I start the quiz it says time allowed 30 minutes while it says um, it would say 10 minutes for everyone else and then I would just start the quiz and I'd be able to take the quiz like normal um, and here you see that the student is getting 30 minutes because they get the 10 minutes that we allowed for in addition to the 20 minutes that we preset for all of the quizzes in the class list area so that's where they'll be able to see their timing now let's say for example that we've given the students special access to um, giving them special timing on all of the quizzes by going to tools resources class list doing the drop down by the name of the student edit accommodations and we've given them you know special access for every single quiz okay now say that we need to perhaps on one particular quiz give them even more additional timing or maybe we need to just give a student additional timing for one quiz not for every single quiz um, or maybe we just need to give them a different window so in that case we're going to use the special access so you're only going to use this tools and resources class list edit accommodations feature when you want to give the students special timing on every single quiz in the course if you're wanting to do it just one time for a student or if you're wanting to do um, additional time window you're going to do it through the traditional way which is quizzes restrictions and then special access so here I'm able to give special access for just one time if I only wanted this one user to get special access this one time so only on this quiz do they get 40 minutes while everyone else gets a different time limit now also I can override these time limits that I've given for all quizzes so in this case I've given this student 10 extra minutes on every single quiz using that class list feature I can still override this if I want to I'm able to come in click on that and override it and so in this case for some reason maybe they normally they're gonna get 130 minutes because they're getting 10 minutes extra but I say no on this quiz I want them to get 40 minutes that's fine I can still override um, their quiz so in that case they're only getting the 40 minutes so a couple of things to review and remind you here so when you go to the tools and resources class list and accommodations that is giving you that is giving the student um, special access a special time limit for every quiz in the course so that's going to do it for all the quizzes that are already created or the ones that you do create 
if you only want to give special access for one particular quiz, you want to do it the way that we've always done it, going to quizzes, click on the name of the quiz, restrictions, and special access. If you need to give them a specific date window, a different time window, you're going to have to do it through the special access per quiz because that's not a feature in the class list. The class list accommodations feature is for only um, the timing on the quizzes. Also, if you do the timing on the quizzes and you have a student who gets special access on all the quizzes for a spe specific time, but you need to override it for one particular quiz, you can always come to this special access area and override it. One way to think about it is this special access is always going to override whatever was done in the class list accommodations area.